Hello friends. So today we can discuss the second problem from the latest code forces round seven zero six problem name uh, max and mix. So I'll tell you the problem statement simple terms and then we'll like move on to solving this problem. We'll talk about the solution and the code implementation. So the problem in simple terms states that you are given some array as you can see in this array. Now in this array you have to perform some operation k times. Now what is the operation? You have to first find out the max element and the max element in this whole array. Now what is max? Max is just the maximum uh, integer in this whole array and max is the smallest non-negative integer which is not present in this array. So as you can see it is also given in the example. It's a very standard a term which is used in many problems also. So as you can see, if you just start from zero, just count out that zero present, one present, two present, three is not present. So the smallest number starting from zero, which is not present in the array is the max of that array. As you can see, this is three. If you take about this array, as you can see, you again start from zero because zero is not present in the array. So the answer is zero. You just have to find out the smallest non-negative integer, which is not present in that array. I hope you get the point now. So what you'll do here is you'll do this operation k times. You'll find out the, as you can see, a plus b divided by two, which is like finding out the seal of the summation of the max and the max. Just take out the max and the max of this array divided by two, find out the seal of it, and you'll add that number in the array. Okay, so you'll take out the max and the max divided by two and add the seal of that number to the array. And you'll do this operation k times. Such that after this, you just have to find out whatever is the new array which is formed after that key operations. You just have to find out the number of distinct elements in that array after doing this operation k times. I hope you understand the problem statement now. Let's move on to the code part or sorry, the solution part. So now, uh, like I do not know how to solve this problem at the start when I first saw this problem I thought that there might be some solution but as you can see first always move down to the like a constraints to think about how to solve this problem as you can see the constraints are 10 to power 5 so you can just solve this in o of n or log n okay you cannot go this in o of n square okay so it cannot be that you can always sort it out find out the maximum element the max element and then do something because as you can see this is a of i is also large and n is also large so you cannot do this operation a number of times so this is not feasible so i have to do this in o of n or log n now for finding out the number of distant elements the first thing which come to my mind is using a set okay so i can initially just in the initial phase i can find out how many distant elements are there in the in the problem okay fine but now the one catch which i first saw this problem is i am not deleting out those elements so if i am not deleting out those elements the max is always remain the same uh, what I mean by this is, see, if I take out the max and the max, okay, the max of that array is something, the maximum element, okay, then max is the smallest element which is not present in the array. If you take that number and the max element, if you plus that element number and divide by 2, whatever is the answer, that number will always remain the same because see, if there is some number, there is some max and this there is some max, if you plus and divide it by 2, that number will be in some middle. And if that number is in, it's in some middle, then max will not change because max is the smallest number which is not in the array. It will always remain there and max will always remain because this number is smaller. So whatever, how many times I'll do this operation, this number will always be coming out to my answer. So I thought that, okay, we just have to find out that whether what is the max and the max in only one chance and then that's the answer but that's not the case uh, you just have to see this up solution which is like the full problem which is like you are given three numbers which is 0 1 2 0 1 2 okay and then you'll have to do this operation two times now the max of this is two obviously this is the max and max max is three okay now what you can see in this problem is if you are taking these number which is like three plus two divided by 3 plus 2 divided by 2 which turns out to be 5 divided by 2 which is like 2.5 so it turns out to be 3 now 3 is a number which is added now as you can see this is violating our condition my condition is if max is smaller uh, like max is larger some number is in middle so if the number is in middle then it is following our condition but now this number is greater than our max my max is changed so if my max is changed now my max is 4 and my max is 3 so it will keep on incrementing the next number will be four next number will be five so it will keep on incrementing and this number will be added k times 
I hope you get the point now. What what I'm telling to trying to say is, like if you just have to find out what is the max and what is the max. For finding out the max, what you can do, you are given some array. First, sort all the numbers out. Okay. Now maybe sorting it out, the first number will be zero, two, three, five, and so on. Now you'll start from the zero term and check that because this is the zero term and the you should have at least like you should have zero in that array. Or, or else the max is zero. So you just check out the ith term with the ith term with the ith index. If they are same, then obviously this is the this is not the max. This is not the max. Now two is at three. That the second index number has three number in it. So as you can see, two is the max because two is not present in the array. I hope you get the point. This is the smallest number. Now I have two, and maybe the five is the maximum element. So this is five. Now five divided by two, which is like four, like because we are doing the seal of it. So, like as you can see, four is not in this array, but because four, uh, the, the array is as you can see zero, one, three, five. Four is not in this array, so we'll insert it out. But again, if you find out the max, which is two, and max is five, so you'll again keep on inserting four, 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 four in this array. I hope you get the point. So what you'll do, you'll find out the number of like you'll make a set of all the numbers. In this whole array, so so that every element is oh, present only once, and then you'll find out the max and the max. If the max is somewhere in between this maximum element and the smallest element, then you just insert the max element in this array uh, or in this set. And if it is present, then it will be vanished out because set only consists of one element. And if it is not present, it will be inserted in the set, and you just find out the size of the set. But if that element is greater than the maximum element. The max, as you can see, the max is greater than the maximum element. Then what will happen is because when you do key operations, at each operation you'll add a new number, and the max and the max changes out. I hope you get the point. And thus, after all the key operations, k new numbers are added. So in that problem, if the max is greater than the maximum element, you'll find out the distant integers in the original array, and in that original array, you'll add. K more numbers because K more new numbers are added after those key operations because this is the maximum element. These are the distant elements which are already present. If in, among the distant elements, K more operations are done, K new numbers are inserted in the set, so the set size will increase by K. So that's the whole logic. You just have to in, ensure that what is the position of the max element. If the max is in between the maximum, if it is smaller than the maximum, then you just have to insert that maximum and the max divided by two in the set and find out the the size. Else, if it is greater than the maximum, you just have to find out the number of distant elements in the set or in the array and then add k to it because k new elements will be added after these k operations. I hope you understand the logic part now. We'll move on to the code part now to even make it more clear. Uh, I'll got a wrong answer first time because of the long long. So you just always have to use long long in such type of problems. So uh, that's why I've used long long as a set also and the vector. And as you can see, you just have to insert out for finding out the distant integers in the whole array first, and also in putting that in that vector. Then sorting it out. So set consists of all the distant elements, and this array consists of all the elements itself. We'll sort it out. And then this miss is like finding out the max. So we'll start from zero till n. And whenever at the point, whenever my a of i is not equal to i, then this is the max element. So miss is equal to i and break out. But if we do not find it out that if this condition doesn't hit, which means that like zero element, zero index is equal to zero. First index into first, second index is equal to second, and then the array finishes out. So the max is equal to three. So at that point, because we initialize my max at minus one. My max will be equal to n, so you can also initialize your max with n also at this point, no matter. So, so and we just find out the element we just have to add. So it is max plus one divided by two because we are finding out the seal. That's why we have added one. So, if there are two conditions, if k is equal to zero, which means that we don't have to do any operation, or if my miss equal to n, miss equal to n means that uh, my max, uh, which is greater than Equal to max. Then what we'll do? We'll find out the number of distant element is s, which is number of distant element in the array itself plus k to it. Because I have told you k new elements are added. But if k is equal to zero, then new no new elements are added, so the size is itself the answer. But else, if max is smaller than the maximum element, we'll always add the same element in the end. So we just find out that element we have to add, and we'll add that element into the set. 
and we'll just find out the answer of the set which is like the uh, like the size of the set in there i hope you understand the logic and the code part for this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention a comment box as an next one till then keep coding bye